I had finished all the water before the end of the race. When I got home from the shops, I realised I had forgotten to buy some milk. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode with Learn English with Kevin. In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at the past perfect. What is it and how do we use it with some examples. So if that interests you, then stick around. So the first question you're probably asking, just like my dog, is how do we make the past perfect? Well, it's really easy actually. All you do is add had plus the past participle. Now you may be thinking, what is the past participle? Well, when you look at verbs and the structure, you've got three columns. So with irregular verbs, you have the base form, and then you have the past simple form, and then you also have the past participle form. Now this only applies for irregular verbs. With regular verbs, such as play, we can actually use the past simple. So those verbs are very easy. So for example, it would be had played for a regular verb. However, for irregular verbs like drink, you would say I had drunk. So now we know how to create a past perfect tense. Let's have a look at a few examples on when we can use the past perfect. So the first option would be time up to a point in the past. So we've got two examples here. The first example is I had finished all the water before the end of the race. I had finished, so that's the past perfect, all of the water before the end of the race. So before the end of the race is a time up to a point in the past. Another example would be when he got promoted, he had been in the company for three years. So when he got promoted, is up to a point of time in the past. He had been in the company for three years. So had been is the past perfect there. The second option of when you would use the past perfect is when we're talking about two things or two actions in the past and we need to order them in the time frame of when each one happened. So in a time frame, we would say the past perfect happens first and then the past simple. So it's probably easier if I show you a, a line graph and show you the different points of time and also show you a sentence. So let's have a look at those. When I got home from the shops, I realised I had forgotten to buy some milk. So you have the when I got home, which is the past simple from the shops. I realised I had forgotten. So that there is the past participle, had forgotten, which makes the past perfect to buy some milk. So if we're looking at the time, let's say 9 a.m. in the morning, I went to the shops and then I was buying some things and then I got home and I realized I had forgotten to buy some milk. So the had forgotten actually happened in the shops, but it was when I realized when I got home. So here we can order in the actual time frame of what happened when. And when you're writing sentences like these, it actually doesn't matter which order you put them in because you could also say it in reverse. For example, I realised I had forgotten to buy some milk when I got home from the shops. I realised I had forgotten to buy some milk when I got home from the shops. Now you'll notice that we don't use a comma when we put them in that order. So make sure that if you put it in the first order, you use a comma. And then if you choose to use the second order, then don't use a comma, just like with the conditionals. So let's have a look at one more example. So let's say last night while I was walking Alfie here, I realized I had forgotten to bring his poo bags. So if we look at the timeline, I left the house without the poo bags. I was walking Alfie and then when he needed the toilet, that was then when I realised I had forgotten to bring his poo bags. And that is all you need to know about the past perfect. 
If you want to have a look at a nice little diagram, I'll put a link below in the description, which will send you to my website where I've designed these posters, which easily explain each grammar point. And if you want to continue practicing your English, then I suggest you click on the next video here.